Another eat the illusion, then they see that we are losing. Who's in charge of the stars? Thought it was us. Memories of them blooming. Hear the strings play our movements. I done had some hard times because of me choosing to be an artist, you know? But that was a choice, so I'm gonna walk through it. from the sky. My mom was a sharecropper from Louisiana. Creole lady. My dad was, he was super militant and to a degree super bitter about what life had dealt him, what he could control and what he couldn't control. And he took that out on a lot of us. And as much as I don't want to make that part of who I am, it is very much a part of who I am. It's how I learned how to protect myself. So I'm trying to unlearn and undo a bunch of stuff. That was at one point was what I thought being a man was supposed to be. I grew up in East St. Louis, crack era. Yeah, a lot of people didn't make it out of it. Growing up, the things that I got made fun of saved my life. Being a nerd, being too emotional. I used to think I was so much different from the other boys, young men I grew up with. But now nah, I wasn't. The mask fit better for them. It fit better on their faces. It didn't fit as good for me. And that's what a lot of my work is about. Being black means a lot of things, right? Being a man means a lot of things. Not being a man means a lot of things. You know, all of these myths, it's a myth. It's a story that you've been told and some of it fits you and some of it doesn't. Guys was a big thing for me. That took me about three years to make. I like to think it's like a, a little universe. It's a multi-layered thing. Music, art, photography. Basically about either accentuating to a mystic degree or negating these tropes or, and these cultural norms that black people say is what, what makes black culture, but taking these things and deifying them. You know, so you can see yourself in these guys and see these everyday black things that you think of mundane and, and look at them as the mystic and rethinking and reimagining just life on, on, a, on a surreal level. Miles Davis, when I look at interviews, I think the energy of East St. Louis, I got that same sort of energy sometimes and I don't know if it's the city or it's my last name or it's the, it's the house I grew up in, but um, I really respect his, I am black and I don't care, I, and I am going to be black until I am done. And like, and I'm not finna, and I'm not no new age, you know, it's, uh, I have ascended past that and all that. Like he was, you, he was on that for real. The music is a big thing for me. I can make a beat by myself and I'm not thinking about the rest of the world. It takes everything away for a second. The art that influenced me the most was like rap though. And that's how I learned most of the skills I got. It's cause I was rapping. And I used to like do tagging, lettering and graffiti sort of stuff. This teacher, instead of like thinking it was a problem or whatever, he would let me do like my crits like that. He was getting me jobs with like these rich white ladies in Belleville. They kids would want their bedrooms painted. That stuff didn't come from 
this 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 high class cultural sort of lens of art. It came from regular people and, and finding a utility in art. So if you could, if you could paint a sign for somebody, if you could draw a tattoo for somebody, if you could like those things, airbrushing shirts, like stuff like that, like it's more utility than 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 hanging it on the wall. So this is this is my work in particular, and. Uh, it's, it's called All Hands on Deck, and I do I did it um, during during the Ferguson uprising. figure out how to help and I make it things. I didn't know that this was gonna be the thing that people wanted to see, especially with all of the stuff that was going on. It boggles my mind sometimes when I sit in spaces like this and when I hear you explain it and what you got out of it, cause it was real simple to me and I felt like it was a state of emergency. I didn't make that up, like that was already there. People with their hands up. I just was trying to channel what was going on. The deeper meaning I thought was self-explanatory to the people that was being, that was going through it, right? I'm a success story when a lot of people and a lot of homies ain't and, a lot, and people lost a lot and there's people still dying behind what, what happened there. And so I'm grateful for, for the fact that it didn't, you know, it didn't open doors and it's something that people will remember the work that I did for, for a moment in time. But at, at the same time, this is all, a, this is the only thing anybody ever want to talk to me about is a, is a painful time in my life and a painful time in a bunch of other people's lives. This was me weaponizing my talent for a specific moment in time. Negrophilia. That's about 130 small six by six works that makes media. That was like my therapy while the protest was going on. I'd go home and draw what I saw and the words I was hearing and the philosophy. And I was playing with a lot of, like crossing words out. So I'll only let you see what I want you to see. Cause that's usually how history go. his long journey and the place of war he has come from. He longs for peace and rest. He hopes it awaits him in his castle. A short film I did, The Stranger, a short I did in Ghana when I was there for a uh, residency. A man falls from the sky one day and he was brought back to Earth because of a dream. He's searching for a castle and a, and a queen. There's an analogy for what I thought I was getting into going back to the continent. We need a more realistic way of looking at the diaspora. At this point, we don't belong nowhere because we're not from over there. And they'll let you know you're not from here. You're not from here. You're not one of us. But here, they don't really want us either. We like landless people, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. That means you can adapt to a bunch of As he slept, a dream comes. In the dream, he is visited by a great spirit.
the Spirit offers a gift to the stranger to guide his way. I know that I'm, I'm right at being me, and I know I'm the best one at being me. And it took me a long time, a long time to get to that. And I'm not worried about if I fall off or if I get paid or if I blow up. And I can't remember the last time I really cared about that. And I feel good about that. <laughs>